we agree that I'm going to make fun of Moby this year. And then, but now they're ready. Like, so you're, then you're going to go up and make fun of someone else, right? Well, look at this section here. There's going to be, Diddy's going to be here and blah, blah, blah. And here's Eminem. What about Eminem? I was like, um, yeah, I could do an Eminem. Uh, will, you, will you tell him in advance? He's Eminem. He's going to love it. He, you've seen his videos. They're hilarious. It's Eminem. Okay. And then, so during a commercial break, they seat me and Moby, like four rows behind Eminem. And Moby had made fun of him. He hadn't made fun of Eminem. He criticized Eminem, like earlier in the year or maybe a year earlier. He had called him homophobic, his lyrics. And Eminem then made fun of Moby in a video uh, that ended up being video of the year that year. Uh, and um, Moby thought it would be OK to be a part of this. Um, and so we're seated there. Eminem is like four rows in front of Moby and spots him, like just notices the hubbub and sees that it's Moby. Mm -hmm fuck are you doing here, asshole? And Moby's like, oh, I guess, hi, how are you doing? And, and Eminem's like, yeah, that's right. You're a fucking asshole. Go fuck yourself. We start doing the bit. I make fun of Moby. Uh, I mention Eminem as I'm making fun of Moby. And then I get up, as I was told. So I'm making fun of Eminem. I'm about to. And Eminem puts his hand on the dog's head says, yo, yo, I already have my TV time. And, um, but I just want to, I, I, <laughs> and then Proof, he had a posse of two guys, Proof and Obi Tries, two rappers mm -hmm. who were his buddies. And Proof sees the, uh, that the uh, Jew in his 40s has a script, a couple of pages of jokes, and, he, and I'm looking at, and Proof just grabs the pages and throws them up in the air. And now everybody who watches this thinks like, oh, they're going to kill you. But Proof had a smile on his face. Like I, in my mind, I was in the middle of a WWE sketch. Never felt remotely threatened. So here's what happened. I wanted to pay it off on the live show. I wanted to come out with like a little neck brace and do the jokes that I wanted to do to Eminem and sneak them out that way. And I was going to go backstage and talk to Jimmy Fallon, who was the host and my friend. And I'm sure he would have been up for it. But I could not get backstage because the talent people were like, he's going to kill you. Oh, Mr. Grant, he's going to kill you. <laughs> That's what they were like. The next day, it was like on the front page of the Daily News or whatever. So the puppet got a lot of attention for it. But like in my mind, all I was thinking about was I didn't get to do the jokes.